We got the camera right on you so they know. Oh, good. That's yeah. great. So I went right up in your. Good. Yeah. How about that swing from your good buddy there, Trace Thompson? That's nice, man. I mean, I think uh, it just makes it more complicated. It's like he's hitting righties better than lefties. So who knows who to play who win right now, right? But right. It's, uh, it's good for him. And obviously, Trace has been unbelievable for us. So um, it's been really fun to watch. And um, he's obviously a great addition to the team and a good buddy of mine. So it's awesome. Yeah, he was somebody you got really close to when he was with the team the first time, right? So you had to be fired up when you heard that the Dodgers acquired him again. Yeah, we were all really excited. Uh, um, and it gives me another person to deal with Barnsey. That's huge. Um, having to deal with Barnsey on a daily basis gets a little bit of a grind. So to have Trace around to alleviate that has been awesome. So it's been good for us. Have you noticed his personality kind of change and the confidence with the success he's had here the second time in the Dodger uniform? You know, Trace handles it so well. And um, by the way, they can hear everything I'm saying. They're down the cage right now. So it's kind of fun to you know, oh, talk trash yeah. about Barnsey. But uh, um, yeah, with Trace, it's been awesome. I think uh, what he's been able to do here and i don't know if it's a confidence thing or what but he just got an opportunity here you know i think we gave him a good good uh, runway and um he's performed so you know i'm happy for him and he's done great for himself tommy canley on the pitch in a 1-1 game in the fourth elias diaz leads off and takes ball one you're always working on a change up have you approached canley <laughs> man if there's one guy i don't want to wrestle it's tommy canley this guy is yeah. so strong um and you can't do what he does. You can't throw his changeup. It's it's borderline impossible. I don't know how he does it. Um, it's kind of like a unicorn pitch, but uh, he's looked great. You know, obviously the biggest thing for him is oh, sick. Good one too. Um, the biggest thing for him is health. You know, and so for him to be bouncing back and throwing some back-to-back -back games, some big innings for us has been huge. You got a ball in your hand. Do you know his grip? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. I, it has something to do with his pinky. His pinky's like either doesn't. I, I'm not even going to try oral. I don't know okay. how to throw that pitch. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. And Tommy's a little crazy, too. You got a little crazy in him, right? He loves the sports, just anything sports. Like he was getting fired up today for the Orlando Magic preseason basketball <laughs> game and uh, had his Penny Hardaway jersey on and. I love sports too, but you know, preseason basketball is about my limit. I'm not sure if I can get into that. So he's just he's just all in Notre Dame football, UNC basketball. He's kind of all over the map with his favorite teams, and um, yeah, it, it's that, and then just aggressive pitching, and it's pretty fun to watch. Who are you able to be a fan, like an unadulterated fan of in sports? Sports wise, yeah, it's a good question. Um, I've really tried to get into the college football thing. I just I don't have like a. A strong tie but everybody loves it so much and you know I was committed to go to Texas A&M so I kind of root for them a little bit my wife went there but um, I really can't like get into it get into it like everybody else so my answer is probably I like watching basketball you know I'm a Luka fan I like the Mavericks a little bit but being out here with the Lakers and then um, you know watching the Warriors with Trace's brother Clay has been has been fun too so I just like watching basketball those guys are just such great athletes did you play any hoops Eighth grade was the last time. Eighth grade was it. Um, a lot of running, a lot of gassers. I couldn't quite keep up, so I, I got out of there. Yeah. yeah. What, what did you play? I don't know. I, I think I, I sat on the bench a little bit, so I, <laughs> I don't even know what I played. So. Swing man, you versatile, positionless, you know, modern player, really, it sounds like. That's a great spin, uh -huh. Joe. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here for you. That is foul. What year? When you're growing up, did you feel like all of a sudden you were in control of your body and like this is the one I'm going to deal with? Was it school or was it after school, turning pro? Uh, I don't know. Well, that's an interesting question. I think, I mean, I started like lifting weights junior year of high school, started growing a little bit, started throwing a little bit harder. So kind of all came together around then probably. Yeah. I don't know. If, probably should stop eating cookies, though. That's probably my biggest <laughs> problem right now. What's your Freddie, Freddie orders these cookies every day and he brings them into the... Uh, Alex's office in there and they're just sitting there every day these snickerdoodles and chocolate chip cookies oh. and like it's just you're gonna have at least one a day and um, you know sometimes it gets a little carried away so I, I blame Freddie more than anything what's your favorite out of the two oh, that's a great question can't go wrong no. can't go wrong with just a solid chocolate chip cookie you do you get milk with it no, I love where this interview is going. You know, I, there's no milk in Alex's <laughs> office, but um, yeah, if I had my choice, I have a little milk with it. I, yeah, for sure. What do you keep yourself from having now that you can't wait to have more of when you're done playing 10 years? <laughs> Joe, 10 I, years. 
I'm not as strict as you might think. Um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wow. How did he hit that? You're, you're pretty strict. You got your shirt off in the celebration. You guys were yeah. posing, you know. It was cold in there, you know. It was good. It was a good body uh, transfiguration there. So it was good. Um, no, the only thing is, like, probably, you know, just going going back home, you get, you know, Mexican food. You know, they don't have, uh, like, that, like, Tex-Mex type thing. That's probably my go-to. So, um, yeah, that's really about it. Two up, two down for Canley here in the fourth inning. 1-1 one, one game. Sean Bouchard comes to the place. So this is your 15th year with the team. What are the trademarks of this group? What makes this group special to you? That's a great question. I, I don't know. I think... Um, obviously really good i think obviously performance starts everything so you win games you're going to probably have a good culture probably have good camaraderie with the guys um but then i think this year it just is like um there's like a a fun a little bit more fun funness that's not a word but a little bit more funness with the group and then um i think there's just like that switch which i really appreciate it like hey there's a time like that we all have a good time together hang out together and then there's a time where like hey let's just go win the game now you know and so I think everybody does a great job here of like i guess it's called being a professional you know i think everybody does a great job of like hey when it's time to have a good time we do it and then when it's time to go win the game we do that and everybody just kind of on the same page so it's uh it's been fun to be a part of this group with that and i just really respect everybody here like everybody takes responsibility for their actions really well and how they perform and um tommy's change is so gross but it's uh it's just been great is there a specific time when you can just feel it in the locker room? Is there a song that comes on? Is it the, when the media is kicked out? What What does it feel like in the locker room, like, you know, half hour, 40 minutes before the game? What is it? Um, music's always great. Well, you know, we uh, DJ Sphere in there today, doing a little <laughs> DJing. Uh, Mookie gets on there. We got Bic on there, JT on there. So I don't know. I just think it's... For whatever reason, the group of guys that is here has just a good understanding of what we need to do. And, um, you know, we don't try to change anybody. Just everybody goes out and does what they can. And then at the end of the day, we all can have a good time together, too. So I don't know if there's one specific thing. The slide step change up. That's a good pitch. Really good pitch right there. Chris, Chris Martin does that really well. That slide step. It got Manny in San Diego. It's really good. Jump at the hitter and made a power puff at him. It was really Throw good. Throw the rosin bag. Really good. Hey, if we end up playing the Mets down the road, are you going to do a little different travel in New York as far as the bus ride? What do we got? Well, you, didn't you have a long bus ride in New York last time you were there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I think <laughs> the U.S. Open's over, right, as far yeah. as we know. So I think we'll be good. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll be good. <laughs> Your first start off the IL, right? You're all ready to get there and have your schedule, and then it took, what, <laughs> two hours? Yeah, it, it, that, you know, patience is one of my true vir virtues, we as know, my wife yeah. would say. Yeah, so when, uh, you know, it's a day game kind of, you're trying to, like, get going, and you're just sitting on the bus. You're coming off a back injury, sitting there for two hours on the bus. I feel like I actually held it together pretty good for what was on the inside. So, <laughs> um, overall, I think I handled that okay. Is the ground ball to short. Trey Turner's got it. That'll wrap up the top of the fourth. Clayton, we always appreciate you. Good luck Wednesday and uh, good luck in October, friend. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.